All right, so I'm out here at the Tundra today, and we are going to be looking at installing this high lift jack uh, bed mount kit. Um, I got this from my obviously my high lift jack because I want to put it inside my truck up on the rail system right there and keep it out of the the rain the weather I know a lot of people like to take these jacks and mount them to their bumpers and they mount them to their uh, roof racks and I get it it looks cool and everything but I don't like to advertise my stuff and um, the more you can keep this out of the rain the better you're going to be because these things have a lot of springs a lot of moving parts so you really want to try to keep these out of the weather if possible also this bed mount this kit has a spot to mount a shovel i'm going to try to mount my long shovel uh i may end up using a short one depending on how this works out uh however i do really like the long handled shovels because you don't have to bend over as much when you're you know when you're trying to shovel yourself out of something also i got the quick fist i use these a lot these are the quick fists that uh, hold all the axes and shovels and so you can use them for a lot of different things i use these all the time so we're going to mount these on there also now well, here's the bed mount kit as you can see it says it's for a toyota tacoma now you're probably saying eh, it's not good this is a thunder it's not going to fit on there but the rail systems that they use along the bed and along the front of the bed is the exact same on the tacoma as it is on the tundra they're all the same toyota uses this all the same bed mount rails so uh you can use this so i'm going to scan this package for you real fast so you can see and then we'll open it up and see what's in it there's the brackets and the back for you and there's the back pause the video if you need to see something and there's the part number there's the part number right there all right and that's what i'm using today so we're gonna break this bad boy open break these open see what we got and get this thing mounted on there all right so let's open all this up and see what we got apologize for the wind today it's pretty windy out Package open one of these days. One bracket, two brackets. We got the uh, twist on knobs. This is going to be a little strap to hold the handle. You'll see that in a minute, hold the handle to the jack. And then we got a bag of little parts here. We got the little uh, brackets that go up in the, in the slides. And they give you two, looks like Allen bolt key uh, bolts for that. And a couple of rubber spacers here. So I'll have to get an Allen wrench because they do not provide one. And now we'll get going on this. All right, so the bolt that holds the bracket on to the rail system is an Allen wrench, like I said. They do not provide you with an Allen wrench. Uh, this is a 5 16 um, So you just have to find one of those and uh you'll be good to go now i've got the jack up there i've got it kind of centered so i know exactly where i want to put these brackets i think i'm going to put one here and then maybe one here um this is a 48 inch jack and that rail from that end to that end is 48 inches so that works out good um so like i say i'm just going to put a bracket here and then over here temporarily we're not going to tighten anything down we're going to put it on there i'm probably going to have to tweak it from left to right you know just to get it to where i want it depending on how the shovel mounts on there and uh we'll see how that goes so also 
they do not give you bolts for uh, in this bracket this is where the quick fist clamps are gonna go right here and they don't give you bolts for these obviously um, I'm not really sure what size that is it looks like it's probably gonna be maybe an 8 by 125 I don't know I'm gonna have to look at that um, I'll let you know there uh, so yeah let's get started putting these things on all right so this rail system has a couple stops at the end just a couple caps right here at the end all you got to do is just take your finger and slide it out it's that easy then we're going to take these the mounts and we're going to take them put it in here and we're going to slide it all the way through we'll slide this one down to this side if you want to take the other side off you can but i'm just going to take this one to slide it down I'm actually going to thread this in to help me a little bit here. Get stuck. This one wants to be a pain to boat. I don't know why it doesn't want to go past there. So that one, for some reason, doesn't want to go past. Oh, because there's a bolt back here. There's a stud right back here that holds the rail system on i don't know if you can see that there it is okay so that right there is hitting here so which there's one over here too so i don't know why it would be hitting that one and not this one so i'm gonna leave that one right there i'll take the cap off this side and then i will slide the other one through this side All right, so we're gonna take the bolt. I'm gonna slide it on in there. And that's that. We are going to take the Allen wrench, stick it in there. Try to snug it up a little bit. We're not gonna to go too crazy here. start with that one maybe there like I said don't don't tighten it up too much I'm gonna take the other one I'm gonna drop the bolt down in there and we'll go to this one snug that one up get my shell out of the way here to start with because we don't need this right now and now we're going to see where exactly we need to be with these and I actually kind of fell right on in there that actually kind of worked kind of nice um I might go one more over well that worked out good eh. So it's kind of even on this side, and I got this side, I got about, I don't know, an inch or so. Maybe I'll go over one more, see what it looks like. I can't go over one more on that one because the thing is in the way. So I'm going to leave it right here. I'm going to leave it right there. Uh, seeing this is dancing around like that, they do make. Obviously, people with high lift jacks know that they make little rubber grommets that go around here, but I'm not going to buy one of those because they got this strap right here. So, all we got to do is put this strap around here, cinch it up. It's in the back. You can leave it in the front if you want. I'll put it in the front for now. There we go. That's going to hold the handle a little tighter. Now, as far as the shovel goes, the shovel. All right, so that's good right there, actually. I'm going to crank that down. All right, that's tight. That's 
tight. All right, let's see how the shovel hook kind of fits on here. I don't know if this long handle shovel is going to work or not. May have to end up getting a shorty. Looks like I'm probably going to have to get a short shovel. Yep. That's okay. Alright, so. Take or not, all you gotta do with these plastic pieces later is just take them, shove them back in. Is that side? There's the other side. Sometimes they can be a little tricky, believe it or not. So here we have our knobs. These are nice aluminum knobs. Pretty heavy duty, they're not cheap plastic. I'm gonna crank this down. I'll take a second look at the shovel after I crank this down. This one on here kind of pushes it back a little bit, so I may have enough room to put the shovel on. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. That fits really nice in the back. It's not hitting the bed. All right, now let's see if I got any extra room for the shovel. Now, it's still kind of long handle shovel, still kind of hits the end down here, so. Not gonna be able to use my long handle shovel, which is a bummer because I like the shovel. So, all right, well, I might put the quick fist mounts on here anyway because I know I'm gonna use them. So, I'll go ahead and get those mounted up real quick so you can see that, and then when I get the shovel later, I'll just take another picture of that later. All right, so on the quick fist clamps, here's your clamp. Here's your clamp here. You got a little, uh, a little doodad here, a little kind of spacer that you're going to want to use. And then I found some machine screws that I had in a box. Not exactly sure what size they are. Pretty sure they're, I don't know. I'm not even going to say, I don't know. Uh, but they fit in there, so I'm going to use them. So I'm going to take this, you're going to take the little spacer, you're going to want to put the little spacer in there, and you can push the, the screw through there, if you can see that. Alright, I pushed it through, it stays in there pretty solid, got a little sticking out the end there, so I'm just going to screw that to that. Snug down nice and tight. Not too tight. There we go. There's that one. I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Take it. Take the little spacer. Put it in there. Shove that one in there. Same thing. I always keep my straps to where they're going up. Instead of this way down. You want to keep them where they're going up. And I'll put that one over here. Alright, that one's on. I'll test fit the shovel again anyway. I know it's not going to work, but. So I'll put that in there. And then that still gets in the way of the handle over here. So, so this handle, I don't know if you can see it, this 
handles hitting this plate over here, which is stopping me from putting this in here. So I'm gonna have to get a shorty, a shorty shovel. The handle will come up here somewhere, and uh, it'll fit. It'll fit good that way. I could take this off, but I don't want to mess with it. It's got a cotter key in it. And even if I took it off, still wouldn't fit. All right, so that's that. Give you a wider shot of this, what it looks like. And then, like I say, when I get back with my other shovel, I will give you a final picture. All right, so that's what it looks like without the shovel. When I get the shovel on it, I will uh, update it so everybody can see what it looks like. Okay, so I finally got it finished. Uh, here's what I did. A um, couple little tips. Um, if you're going to mount this to the back wall of your truck, um, I had to, as you saw in the last video, or the previous just a little bit ago, I had this on the other side, over here, and this was towards the bed. The problem with that was this sticking out so far, the back of the bed is pretty straight right here. It's about four inches of straightness, maybe five inches, where it's straight down. So if you're going to mount it to the back of the bed, it's going to hit right there. So that's why I turned it around and have this side out, which is no big deal. Um, if you mount it on the side, you'd see this is an automatic 45 degree angle from right here. It just goes 45 and in and out. So you'd have plenty of room, plenty of space if you mount it on the side. But I didn't want mine on the side. Um, and I saved myself from having to buy a shovel. I did not want to spend money on a shovel. I like the long handled shovels. Uh, so I actually cut about two inches off of the shovel. I took this handle off. I cut two inches off of it and put it back down. So I still have a long handle shovel. Um, and that allowed me to get it to fit in there fine. I did have to sneak it behind here because it wouldn't fit on the outside, which is fine. Works just great. Um, so that's pretty much it after I finagled these brackets a little bit after I spun that around. Everything looks really good. Uh, I'm really happy with it. Now I've got my jack in here. I've got my big shovel in here, and that's um, that's the way it's going to be. So I'm going to give you a shot here, a long shot, and that's what it looks like. All right. So any questions, just put them down in the comment section, and I'll answer anything that I forgot to to talk about. Have a good one.